Hello there, and welcome to another video. Um, I've actually found the mic adapter, so you can hear me this time. Um, you may have noticed that the last two videos have had music over the top, because I, uh, well, first of all, I forgot that I took my microphone with me. I thought I hadn't. But it turns out I did take my microphone, but I didn't have the adapter to make the microphone work. Turns out I did have the adapter. <laughs> anyway, that's not the reason for today's video, is to talk about um, past videos, audio mishaps. It is to go to the UK's, I believe it's the UK's oldest military surplus. Let's go this way first, just because it's pretty. So yeah, so we're going to go to the, uh, the UK's oldest military surplus and just have a little look around, um, hoping that the they let me film. I was watching a uh, Epic Motorcycle Adventures video earlier. And he went to Captain Jasper's, so uh, might swing by there quickly. Is that guy drinking a bottle of bottle of wine? What was that? Oh, I've got to be back before three o'clock, so maybe not stop at Jasper's. I don't know what you guys think about. Hello. No indication? Well, before I was rudely interrupted, I was going to say, what do you guys think about fishing? Um, I know next to nothing about fishing. I have a new job where it would probably be helpful if I knew a little bit about fishing. And uh, there's a little spot just off over there where uh, I think it's got the UK record for the largest conger eel and uh, I'm not saying that I'm going to beat that record but if I'm going to to a little spot I believe it will be that one but if you'd be interested in that and if anybody of you actually know anything about fishing you can guide me give me some tips that would be fantastic but if not let me know in the comments below and uh, well I'll still do the video <laughs> but you might not want to watch that one anyway there is a few a few channel updates I want to be doing. So uh, you may have seen my uh, Trangia burgers that I did. Um, I recently bought a Trangia. I did. I bought it for the um, the big Pesa. Bought it for the big Pesa Patreon camping extravaganza. Ganza. And um, I do I do want to do like a little cooking series. But if you'd be interested in that, again, let me know. I'm going to be doing a lot more camping videos. A lot of those videos won't include a motorcycle, so please feel free to unsubscribe. But no, there will still be motorcycle content, but there will also be uh, content that will just be cooking and and just be and just be camping and camp cooking. And there'll be some that will mix all three together, just for those people that just want to see a good time being had. Some of you might notice that I'm not wearing my Antgat. Um, it's because I never planned on going faster than I would if I was been cycling. If I was going on uh, anything over anything over a 30 mile an hour road, I would. Uh, I have my Atgat. Although, does that now become some of the gear all of the time, or all of the gear, some of the all of the gear, some of the time? Yes. I think I may be lost. I'm sure I'll find the right way in a minute. I'm definitely lost. However, what a place to be lost. Well, this is not the destination I was planning on taking you today, but we're here nonetheless. I'll try and find a skimmer. Come on, that shall do it. Oh. Valiant effort. Oh, oh dear, don't look. The bike's naked. <laughs> Looks a bit strange without all the gear on. Um, not sure if I prefer it or not. However, as we've got them off, at some point there may be another green landing video. Just to see what it's like without all the extra weight. And they do, trust me, those uh, those panniers do weigh. 
this, yes, yes, this looks like the right way, seagull. <laughs> nope, he just mugged me right off. This is it. Ah, we have now arrived at Bogey Nights. So, here we are. Some webbing. You ride? Yes. What have you got? I have a Honda CBF 125. Ah, nice. Yes, it's, um, it's a pretty cool bit of kit. It's just outside. Have you seen it? Well, hey, look at that. Did you do that yourself? Yep, did it all myself. And the wing on the beat, well, the front is the same. So come on, look. So, um, the people has also got a, a spicy little vinyl job on it. <laughs> Feel free to come around and have a look. It's had the new wing and everything. Lovely bit of kit. Yeah, right, do you, do you guys drive this around then? Um, it's the boss's car, so we're taking it to and fro at his house when it's sunny like this. He loves it. <laughs> yeah, he, he goes in and out of the yard every day. It's a wicked bit of kit. Yeah, right. Hello. This might be added to the bag collection at some point. Is that hydration pack? That's very reasonable. We've got some food, what have we got? I'm not normally one for rehydrate, so this is rehydrate, I think. Yay. Or is this definitely wet still? Tastes nice. All of this stuff here. Everything you could possibly want. Pain defenders, but we're missing talking too much. and then put my trangier inside it. <laughs> okay, we'll put that one and this one. Stickers, I see. Grab some stickers I will well, absolutely well. grab some stickers. That's going straight up my bike. Uh, oh, if it's going on your bike, don't take one of those. That one will stay on your bike. Hey. Look at this customer service. So 
So when was this place founded? What's it, just a little bit about the history. Well, this place is a um, hundred years older than I am because it was established in 1898. So I was born in 98 and it's been around for 123 years. It's wow. A long time, isn't it? The whole incredible. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely abundance of stuff. I mean, come on. If you want a tornado windscreen, it's just five hundred pounds. Yeah. If you want a gambo. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. One thousand seven hundred and fifty pounds. You Stick that on the back of your golf. In your hand. Not the job, though. <laughs> oh, Perfect. don't forget we're open seven days a week. Seven days a week. <laughs> God, look at the size of that can. I bet that makes a racket. It does. Oh, actually. it's bigger than my living room. <laughs> yeah, the, um, at home we call that the uh, stainless chode. The stainless chode. Have <laughs> we gone as far as Lego dust caps? Lego bricks, we love it. Little bogey night spare. Oh, is that like the mascot, is it? Uh, he, he's, um, we bought him in an auction. It, uh, it comes as like a set of four, they're called battle birds because they all got guns and they're doing like different poses and salutes. All right. Yeah, it's really cool stuff. <laughs> Quad lock, good man. Oh, love the triumph stick on the front. Yeah, no, so that's that's another YouTuber, that's Phil 480. Ah, and then does you I take you rides to triumph, does he? Big, yes, he, yes, he does. Big yes. pads there. Big pads there. Um, got Lockwood there. Nice. Got Hippo Drones. Do you watch any of these guys on YouTube? I do not, but it's nice to hear about them all. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take a couple of pictures and we'll be sticking together. Yeah, check out the channel. See, they're doing a bit of promo work for you. Very nice. Right. Lovely. <laughs> That's what people should do. All right. Let's put that right. There, I think. Ooh, ooh. Oh, we're all good for time. Mm -hmm. Look, it was made for the bike. All right. Let's stop being a poser and let's get out of here. What a champ Andy was. And a big thanks to him for being so accommodative. Accommodative? Hostily like? Oh, where am I going this way? Accommodating! Hey, hey! We got there in the end, but accommodating. Thank you, Andy, for being so accommodating. Please go and check out Bogey Knight's Facebook page or the website. <laughs> no nod. I've even chatted with that guy and had a good chat. And he said he liked my bike. He didn't even nod at me. <laughs> and just to finish the video off, I'm going to take you past an old military surplus that is no longer. Da -da 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 -da. Goulds. Yes. Unfortunately, I think it closed before COVID. Right. Thanks for watching the video. Please, please subscribe. I really ought to get to that 500 mark just so I can post uh, like uh, the the little Instagram posts on on Facebook because you can't do that until you've hit 500 subs. Don't forget to tell me what you think about. Don't forget to tell me what you think. About the updates to the channel, the cooking, the fishing, possible fishing. I mean, I know that's not going to be the biggest aspect of the channel. It's just there might be appearing one or two videos. I'm in neutral. I'm in neutral. Still in neutral. There we go. 
But yeah, don't worry, that's not, it's not going to become smash fishing or something. Um, or TA fishing. I mean, I'd like the subs, but uh, <laughs> I have zero knowledge and that's why I'm going to start doing it, is to actually learn um, a bit about it. So yes, yeah, so if you'd like to come and learn a bit about fishing with me, or if you've got any tips or, or anything like that, please, uh, please uh, put them in the comments. And the biggest thing, let me know what recipes you want to see me cook on the Trangier. But anyway, this video has gone on long enough. So, uh, yes, like, comment, and subscribe. And please check out Bogey Nights. I've been Curious Cues, you've been you, Sayonara.